far? <laughs> Look at all these trees. Wow, look how high the snow is. <laughs> well, here's our Christmas tree. What you do to come get these trees, you have to get a... a... Do you know what the website's called? What's the website called to get the trees? You don't know it? Just look up Mount Baker uh, tree permit and you get the... You download it or you, and then you... You buy it and then you print it at your house. And then uh, there's a map on, on that website. You just look up Mount Baker uh, tree permit and on that website it gives you all the info. And the permit's like 10 bucks only. And then tree out in the middle of nowhere. Better than going to those in town, those stores in town that charge you like 80 bucks for a Christmas tree. The limit, the limit of a height of a tree that you can get here is 15 feet. I'm pretty sure. We're not gonna get one that big, but yeah. Well, they are shooting. we have our new driver here. That's so cold. Come, come, come. Uh, it's kind of scary. Yeah, you definitely need a vehicle that's four-wheel drive and that's a little not lifted lifted but like that's definitely not a car and absolutely not i mean you guys see the conditions and look how high it is over here um there is right before this right before this there's the the snow isn't this high but i mean we wanted to keep going right mama definitely ten dollars i think it's definitely worth it look at this place You think it's worth ten dollars? Go find our tree. Ten dollars <laughs> and uh, forty dollars no, a gas. Like and uh, yeah, it's <laughs> worth it. It's worth it. There we go. All right, I'm ready. I got my my saw and my shovel to make a way. Jeez. Oh yeah, watch out for those. <laughs> Standing on. Can you? <laughs> no, dude. My hands freezing. We're not on solid ground. No. There's none that are puffy. <laughs> these ones. There's none that are puffy. Like oh, these are all I skinny ones. Like I was talking about. I was talking about talking about this one. This one? You like it? But I feel like that fits your guys' house more. I think I found one that's good. We got our tree right here. I think it's a good length. Oh, he's chopping this one down. Anybody want to slice? Hell, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's very tiring. This. He said there's a bunch of pretty ones over here.
Here we go. Now, we're gonna load them up. First thing first. Where is that thing? Look at this light. I'm gonna watch the watch how far this thing lights. All right, ready, guys? It's my flashlight. They said bring a flashlight. Look at this thing. What do you think? Do you think it's worth 10 bucks? <laughs> yeah. It is very worth it. Definitely better than doing your and traditional... You and you get up to 5 trees. With yeah, ten. exactly. You can get up to 5 trees. Honestly, I think this one's a little big, but... And there's Rika's. His is big too. I think his is... Uh, I think they're about the same size. No, I think his is bigger. Anywho, definitely recommend doing this. Now we gotta go eat. Funny, we gotta put fuel again. My pants are freezing. I have water all in my pants. The snow was way too high. We're gonna pass by the lights I went to two days ago. That'll be fun. Let's go. Hi. It's so funny. Ahí está mi mamá. ¿Dónde? La ballena. Así <laughs> lo dice mi papá, no sé por qué. Ballena, ven. No, es su nickname. I don't know why. No sé de dónde lo agarró, pero. Dice. Look at this. ¿Cuándo viniste? ¿Al viernes después del trabajo? Estaba vacío. Honestly, this place is super cool. What do they sell here? Oh, salmon. They have vendors here. And then they have ice skating. Oh, mini donuts. No, they don't have actual food. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, mama. <laughs> we came to Olive Garden. Olive oh, Garden. Very fancy restaurant. Did you tell him about the casino? Oh no, so we went to the casino here in, uh, in Tulalip and before there used to be a, a buffet and for we'd be uh, for all ages and we'd be able to go in and to the casino but like go straight to the to the buffet so we went in there and then the guy at the door stopped us and told us that told us that we couldn't go to a certain restaurant because there was a bar as well but then he pointed out like three other restaurants that we can go to with our daughter and then we were standing in the middle trying to figure out where we were gonna eat and then security came up to us and asked us well what are you guys doing and we told them we were gonna eat and they kicked us out because apparently you can't have uh, underage kids in there but we were in there thinking we could since the guy at the front door told us we could so we got into a little argument you punched him right
right in the sucker. <laughs> right in the sits right in the kisser. <laughs> Who says right in the sucker? I don't know. <laughs> Okay guys, we made it back home. It is currently 12.10. Still gotta unload the tree. There's the tree. It looks a little weird now. Looks a little down, doesn't look that big anymore, but. All right, well, that's it. Remember, be an arrow. The more they pull you back, the further you go. Peace out.